video will show the slack and the late start timeline information. So we begin with the ID, which is equal to sequence count of the man hours. And the predecessor, so data validation over the ID range. And save. And let's say we can assign a maximum of five men per task. So data validation, list of items, we can hire a maximum of five men per task. And let's say there are three shifts in a day. So data validation, there are three shifts in a day. Three shifts, so that means three, one, two, and three. The three shifts in a day. So we continue with the early start timeline, which is equal to spark line, start and the duration, and the options. First option, the, the chart type will be bar. That's the first option. Second option, color one will be white. And the third option, maximum will be the maximum or this J1. But we lock the reference because we're dragging this formula downwards along the column. And then hit enter. Right now we have an error but we'll fill up the rest. So we continue with the start day formula, which is equal to if, if V3 is empty, then it's empty. If V3 is equal to the ID, A3, then it is zero. That means the, the task precedes itself or follows itself. The last condition, if B3 is greater than zero, then index, index B3, index B3 over the end day range or the finish day range. And we lock the reference because we're dragging this formula. And now that we have locked the reference, we can drag this formula downwards for the first three tasks. Then the duration in days, so our formula, the number of man hours divided by the quantity eight times, the number of shifts times it's a number of shifts times the number of men and enter and we have to clean this up so we have a condition condition that if the man hours is empty the man hours column is empty then it should be empty so if if the man hours column is empty that's man hours column is empty, then it's empty. Otherwise, calculate, enter. Now that's better. Continue with the finish day column. So our formula, the total of the start plus the duration. And we have to clean this up. So we have a condition that if the start day column is empty, then it should be empty. So if so if the start day column is empty, if the start day column is empty, then it should be empty. 
otherwise calculate and that's better so we have the RA formula next the end the project end date so this is the maximum of this that's a project end date then the project start date which is equal to the minimum of this so we have the maximum and the minimum and the minimum which is this now we the total duration will be the maximum minus the minimum now we continue Let's say our default is one month per shift and one shift per day. That's our default. So we drag this downwards as our default. So we have the duration. Let's say task one has no predecessor. So this it precedes itself. So that's zero. Task two follows task one. Task three follows task two and we drag this downwards to refresh and we drag this downwards to refresh next we continue with, with the late start information which is equal to this should be equal to we drag this downwards so this is equal to this, and this is equal to this. So this three information, three items are equal. Now we continue with the late start. So this is equal to our formula. The late finish minus the duration. And this one equal to our formula of the duration here, the number of days. They should be equal. So we have to clean this up. So to clean that, we have a condition. If this is empty, if this is empty, then it is empty. So if If the late finish is empty, so, so if late finish is empty, then it's empty. Otherwise, calculate. Now it's finished. It's complete. That's better. Then we continue with the late finish formula, which is this formula. So we start with the first uh, formula. So this is. Copy and we pass paste it here. That's the very first formula. Then we substitute condition two. Condition two is equal to or. So or of condition one, comma count if b dollar three comma b equal to a three. So we're gonna copy this formula. Copy. And then we replace that to condition two. So we replace condition two with that formula. And finally, so we go back. So we're left with condition one. Condition one is equal to and a equals three, comma, count if b dollar three to b, which is equal to a three equal to one. So we'll copy this condition. We'll copy this as a condition. Copy. And we'll replace condition one. We we'll replace condition one with this. So let's go back. Now this expression matches to this we can enter the 
equal sign. And we drag this downwards for the first three task. Uh, so this should be deleted. So now we can continue with the timeline, which is equal to just as we'll copy the timeline, same as this one, except that we'll replace we'll replace H with letter M M and we'll replace letter I with letter N. And we'll replace J with letter O. With letter O. This is letter O and this is M. That's our maximum. So what we have now is the formula for this part line. And we drag this downwards. So now we have the first three. Let's say I would like to add three more. Insert. So I would like to add three more tasks. And of course, we we'll still use the default. And we drag this downwards. And we drag this also downwards. We copy this down. Except for this, we don't need that. We'll copy this down. And we copy this down. Let's say task four follows task three. You will notice this because these are slacks. So we have to calculate the slack. The slug is equal to our formula of the late start minus the early start and enter that. But we need, if this is M, this is zero. So we have to clean this up. So we will clean this up if, if this is empty. So if if this is empty, if this is empty, then it's empty. Otherwise, calculate. Now that's better. So let's say task three, task four, task five follows task four. And task six follows task five. So here we have the, there's no slack because there are, they're all empty. I mean, they are the late start and the early start are the same. We continue, I'd like to add some more. Let's say I would like to add four more. So I'll drag this, insert two more. Let's say I'll drag, I'll add two more. Four, make that four. So. And drag this, our default. And we'll drag this downwards. We'll drag this downwards. And we'll drag this downwards. And we'll drag this downwards. Now we can assign task seven follows task six. And task eight follows task seven. And task 
9 follows Task 8.